Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's March 5th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey and Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Gentlemen, thank you for being us, with us. Uh, last week, we took a look at a really significant upward move in muni yields, and we predicted that that might ease off and stabilize, find a new plateau. That's kind of how things played off in the first uh, four days of the trading week. Uh, Grant, why don't you take us through what you've seen? Yeah, so, um, so thanks, Mike. Um, you know, despite uh, a little more rate weakness this week, muni's performed actually quite a bit better. Um, you know, we're continuing to uh, see the curve steepen, long end um, uh, underperforming uh, the 10 year part of the curve. But, you know, we saw a rebound in 10 year muni ratios uh, fell to 71%. They were just under 74% uh, a week ago. But you know, the muni performance, it's still not that surprising to me that. Munis are performing reasonably well. I mean, you've got year-to-date issuance is about 60 billion, which is down 21% uh, versus last year. And two-thirds of that volume, you know, only two-thirds of that volume is tax exempt. So um, I also recently uh, read a, a Moody's uh, analytics report that, um, that they see just $61 billion combined um, state and local government shortfall, you know, netting out the existing federal aid. So you know, we're uh, facing another 350 billion of, of state and local uh, aid. So, um, you know, I think that should have a positive impact on on muni credit generally, and you know, not to mention the the, the the revenue impact of increasing uh, economic growth prospects. So, um, and I also think that you know that should help uh, reduce the need for deficit borrowing or any kind of you know scoop and toss type uh, restructurings. Uh, you know, if and when that uh, gets dispersed. So, uh, you know, we're still in like discovery mode a little bit for Texas utilities. We saw uh, a pickup in, in requests for insurance in that sector this week. Uh, you probably remember that, um, you know, ERCOT made a, what amounted to be like a $16 billion uh, pricing error, error um, during the winter storm. And, you know, since then S&P has placed several uh, Texas Electric Utilities on Credit Watch negative, and, and uh, we've seen a couple downgrades. So, you know, we're we're watching uh, carefully for developments there, and um, and a couple large issuers put on negative. So, um, that's something we're watching. And and uh, just finally, flows <clears throat> turn negative um, this week, uh, which is always very significant for a market that's as technically oriented as the muni market is. Uh, but uh, despite that, you know, as I mentioned earlier, we, we did see muni outperformance. So the market still is on solid footing, uh, but we've had, you know, a, a healthy 40 basis point adjustment in, in uh, muni yields over the last few weeks. Thanks, Grant. And, you know, obviously the next couple of weeks are going to be interesting to watch. There are still seasonal factors working against munis. This is a historic time when people do withdraw some uh, cash, ultimately to pay federal tax bills or other things. So the next couple of weeks maybe are definitely worth watching. I know this week's calendar uh, does shift back towards the tax exempt side. Uh, almost 80% of uh, planned issuance is tax exempt. Uh, Chris, let's go to you and uh, talk about what the new issue uh, landscape looks like. Uh, sure. So last week for BAM, we had a slight uptick in activity where our par insured volume in the new issue market was 375 million. Uh, we priced deals in 10 states. So we saw deals come up in both Wisconsin and West Virginia, which are not heavy users of insurance. So we were happy to see them pop up in our activity this week. Uh, there are three deals that anchored at this week's activity. One was a, a, PO, a pension obligation bond issuance in California for the city of Orange that Steve Cole priced. BAM priced about 109 million of that transaction, which is about 38% of the total par. Over the last month or so, we've seen a lot more activity and interest in the California POB space, and we'd like to see that penetration increasing, so we see that positive for that sector. Uh, there was also a uh, two series for a Copley, Whitehall Copley School District in Pennsylvania. Those two series totaled $50 million, and that was a competitive sale that was purchased by Jenny Montgomery. And there was also a negotiated sale with Bernardi Securities for the city of Waukegan in Illinois, and that totaled about $44 million. Thanks. And for the next week, uh, about just about $10 billion on the calendar total, right? Next week, we uh, see a dip below that 10, 10 billion mark, uh, about 9.5. Most of that is slated to be negotiated. Um, a lot of that activity is, is weighted in, in highly rated names. We have 
two large issuances in California Geo and New York City Muni Water, which are both AA plus or in the AA category. Uh, for BAM, one of the larger transactions that we want to highlight is the Revis School District 220 in Illinois, which is a negotiated sale with RW Baird, and that will be, be around 19 million. Great. Well, thanks uh, for your time this week, gentlemen. We'll uh, see how things play out and uh, be back in seven days. Thank you, Mike. Bye. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, and adding BAM insured municipal bonds to your portfolio is easy. Talk to your investment advisor, visit buildamerica.com, or look for BAM eligible bonds on the Perform Portfolio Management System. BAM. Build America Mutual.